Welcome back, everyone. Well, it's been a hard year for nonprofits. A lot of them rely on in-person fundraising events, and with COVID-19, that hasn't been possible. I met with a local organization who delivers gift baskets to cancer patients and their families at treatment centers, and I spoke with one of them who's doing what they can despite restrictions. Tonight, we learned the story behind Forever Fighters. It's been nearly 10 years since Mackenzie Fish started changing the lives of cancer patients in Washington. She's the founder of Forever Fighters, a nonprofit that supports babies, children, teens, and their families during their cancer journey. She helps because Mackenzie is a cancer survivor herself. One day I was dancing nonstop and I was having fun with my friends. The next day I just started feeling a little weird. 10 years ago at just 15 years old, Mackenzie was diagnosed with stage 2 Hodgkin's lymphoma, a cancer that affects the lymphatic system. It's scared, obviously. There's, there's a lot of fear and a lot of unknown. Luckily, her cancer was treatable. We would drive up to Seattle for treatments and then drive back after the seven hour treatment so that way I could be in school the next day. But Mackenzie says it was nothing like what you see on TV. You feel sick, your hair falls out, you have joint pain, but I was hungry, but I had sores in my mouth. During treatment, Mackenzie befriended several other patients and discovered the disparities in childhood cancer treatment. She's met with children given doses of adult chemo and babies undergoing clinical trials. Joan Stewart with the Tri-Cities Cancer Center says we've come a long way in treating childhood cancer, but there's still work to do. 50 years ago, we only could offer for five years survival to about 50% of the children. And now we're up to 86%. An article published by the National Institutes of Health highlights the difficulties of researching new treatments for childhood cancer, saying a small number of patients means the focus gets put on adults. Childhood cancer is known, but it's not known just how unrare it is. After four months of treatment, Mackenzie was finally cancer free and ready to start helping people just like her. And I left the hospital. I said, I need to do something because this is not OK. Like, I can't just leave these kids fighting for their lives in the hospital when I'm leaving to go live the rest of mine. So she started her nonprofit and they're still going strong despite the pandemic. COVID stopped just about everything, but our mission does not stop, cancer does not stop, and so that's one thing that I had to figure out how we can keep moving. She's even partnered with the Cancer Center to create a guide for young cancer patients. Kenzie is a very special person, and I'm so encouraged by who she is and what she gets done. To this day, Mackenzie has lingering effects from the cancer. Like many others, she is forever fighting. I have to keep helping. I can't sit back and watch it. Like, I have to help.